He's the father of pop art, and while he was sometimes controversial, his work is nonetheless very famous. And right now, you can see it in person. Some of Andy Warhol's work is right here in Hampton Roads. And 13 News Chaser Jason Walsh is live at the Virginia Museum of Contemporary Art in Virginia Beach with a first look. Good morning, Jason. Good morning, guys. Yes, I'm here at the Virginia Museum of Contemporary Art where they have the exhibit of one of America's most recognized artists, Andy Warhol. Now, this is the portrait exhibit from the Andy Warhol Museum in Pittsburgh. Now, here in the front room, they have some of his earlier work from Carnegie Tech in New York. And in the back, you'll see some of the more iconic pieces that you might recognize from his style of work. And this is all different pieces from the 40s through the 80s. And I'm here with Erica Guess. Erica, good morning. How are you doing this morning? to be here at MOCA. All right. Now, check this guy out. You guys might recognize this guy. That's Sylvester Stallone. Tell me a little bit about some of the portraits we have in here. Well, we have more than 130 works by Warhol featuring some really recognizable faces. We've got Martha Graham, Sylvester Stallone, uh, Bridget, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Jane Fonda, and uh, Prince, the musician. It's a really exciting exhibition. Very cool. Now in this back room here, it looks like it's Lou Reed up. These are the screen tests. You have Lou Reed, Edie Sedgwick, and uh, Dennis Hopper. Tell me a little bit about this, you know, because uh, Warhol was known for his films as well. That's right. Uh, he actually had his friends just kind of stop by his very famous factory studio. And so we have footage of the people he hung out with. This is just kind of what it was like in New York at the time. All right, Berkman, what, what can people expect to take away from this? Well, you know, we want people to know that Warhol was actually a really important artist of the 20th century. And when you see the works in person, it's so much different from seeing them in a magazine or in a book because they were very painterly and the silkscreen process was pretty interesting. Very cool. All right, now in the next hour, guys, we're going to check out some of these other amazing pieces out here. And also, some art here at the exhibit that you can buy for a good cause. Reporting live in Virginia Beach, Jason Walsh, 13 News.